So this is my Medea duo. And this is my other Medea duo. Don't pay attention to that. This is made by Medea. All right, so to give you an idea of why I love these things so much, or why I love these things so much, I'm gonna have to open it up real quick. I've already taken six screws out, so two here, two here, um, two back here, and then I think there's four in the back, and I'm gonna take the vent off. The vent's easy enough to take off. I've had it off a billion times. So these things are so similar, the Medea Duo and the Winter are so similar that they are literally the same product. Even the app is the same. You can use the Medea Duo app, or the Medea. I think it's called like MS Smart, which is a terrible name. That's the vent. It's a hose and hose design, which is great, uh, except it still does suck air from inside the home. Don't be fooled. Yeah, like there's cat hair in here. Lots of it. Yeah, lots and lots. Um, Ew. Let's get it the rest of the way apart. I also have a jug here for when it's in heat pump mode. Something I really hate about this thing, and it's one of the very few things, is this filter here goes down here, but there's giant channels on either side. So you'll get a ton of animal hair. I have four cats and a dog, and even with the three massive HEPA filters and a bunch of other stuff, Roombas, robot mops. I still have a bunch of pet hair that gets in here. You can see there's a, well, you probably can't see, but there's a little spot there that it's catching for some reason. There we go. No, it's not. All right. And yeah, this thing is so full of pet hair. That's not my favorite. Um, yeah, that's gross. So this kind of shows you uh, the hose and hose design is great, um, except it's not sealed up particularly well. I think possibly somewhat by design. These are basically mini split a full mini split on wheels the only downside of these is that their heat pump functionality does not go below freezing however i have a trick that i can show you later how to get these things running even when it's under freezing but it's basically it's a limitation of how heat pumps work it's not that these things suck um, but i would love to see you know medea has 12,000 BTU units that um, that are able to work down to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and still have 69% of their thermal output, which is nice. Um, but yeah, the magic is right here. This is the reversing valve. This allows the condenser to become the evaporator and the evaporator to become the condenser. So you can get heat or cold. Um, you have a variable speed motor here with thermal couples on the output and the, uh, on the discharge line, um, on the coil. This winter unit is great. It's quiet. It's, it's, uh, part of that is helped by my 3D printed, um, let me show it. I've got little 3D printed wheel adapters down here that let me run a rollerblade style wheel on here. Um, the adapter is closer up here. I haven't published that. Let me know if you guys want me to publish them. 
yeah, you can see them right here. Here's my 3D printed little wheel adapters. They, I, I kind of want to do a redesign of them because if you plop this thing down super hard, these can break. Um, but I, I can definitely redesign them to be better. I'm gonna try to get all this cat hair out of here. Cause this is actually it. I was opening this up just to show off the internals, but. This is a lot of animal hair in here. I was kind of hoping these coils would be more self-washing. All right, well, just a bit more cleaning. A bunch of water just came out. What did I think this is a good idea? Ideally, this comes, uh, this goes back together with these same amount of screws, but if not, I guess just weight reduction, bro. So yeah, you can see Medea really put a lot of care into this thing. Lots of insulation, lots of parts, lots of complexity uh, to make it a supplemental heat pump. Um, but I'd really love to see them seal the inner chamber off a lot better than this. This is sealed off really, really poorly. All right, that's back together. No extra screws. Woo! Did it. So yeah, there's a, a couple different screw types, so just be aware of that. And now there's a Medea that's slightly less full of cat hair. And turn it on just to make sure I didn't completely destroy it. You'll hear the compressor start in a second goes. Perfect. So this is my other Medea Duo, the actually Medea branded one. Um, not only do they sell this under the Medea name, but the winter, as you saw with the other unit, they also sell it as a Toshiba, and there's a few other brands that are just popping up that are just a licensed version of whatever this is. Um, I believe they're all built by Medea. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things. One of the things I've already done to mitigate some of the, uh, hair issues is I'm stuffing a blanket under the units now, um, uh, just to hopefully stop the, uh, pet hair from getting in there. There's also a vent in the back that I'm planning on putting, um, a 3D printed adapter on. And then on that adapter, I'm going to put a, a wire mesh, um, It'll just keep the big hair out, um, just to keep the coil clear, the, the condenser coil down here, um, which goes to the outside. I want to keep that nice and clean, because it's hard to clean. Um, other than that, I have, uh, I'm going to re-upload the 3D printed wheel adapters for the office chair wheels. Um, I'm going to re-upload the remote holder uh, which also holds the plugs and then the screw caps for those plugs and also the drainage adapter that all fits up here um, where the pipe clicks in normally for storage uh, just so you don't lose stuff um, I also have a low temperature mod I, won't, I would like to do um, I already have it in the process but I was trying to repair one of my printers before I started the I already have the, the model made, but I needed to repair one of my printers in order to um, properly test it. I won't properly be able to test it until uh, this winter, um, until it gets below freezing. Um, I don't like to publish models unless I've thoroughly tested them, at least somewhat. Uh, and I have just a few other, you know, mods here and there I'd like to like to publish for this thing. Um, these are great. I would love to see more 120 volt heat pumps. 
especially a uh, low temperature variant. Um, they don't need to be the extreme deep heat ones or uh, whatever they're called. Uh, but I'd love to see uh, at least negative five degree variant. Um, but even at 32 degrees and, and up, uh, they're still pretty useful, especially if you take the pipe off like it showed earlier. And that's it for the video. Um, on the way out, uh, I'm going to be showing a clip of this thing going through a defrost cycle. Uh, what it looks like. This is not the unit uh, that it was taken on. It was. I did the video on the winter when it was in here. 